In this video, I'm talking about how to time new drum sets that are coming out from Roland, when to buy your next flagship drum module. Should you buy the TD20? Should you buy the TD30? Should you buy the TD50? Which one is the best value for your money? Discussing all that in this video. What's up? Justin here. Welcome to 65 Drums, the place to keep on top of all things electronic drum related. Hope you're all having an amazing day. This is a really interesting question, trying to time out new drum sets that are coming out from Roland. It's really tough to do because, you know, Roland keeps fluctuating how long they'll keep a drum set in circulation. It's not set in stone, you know, written down on a tablet that a new drum set will come out every four years. It's not as simple as all that, which we're going to get to in a second. And if you're looking for a new drum module, if you want to buy a high-end flagship drum module, either the current one, the TD50, or the previous gen one, the TD30, which I have, or even an older one, you know, really go into value territory with a TD10 or a TD20. How do you know which is the best value and how do you know when prices are going to shift in a downward spiral because a new drum set comes out? There's an amazing website you should check out someday. It's called Wikipedia. And there's a particular page on there that I absolutely love. It's called Roland V Drums. And if you scroll down to the bottom of that page, you'll see this availability timeline. Someone very thoughtfully mapped out every Roland drum module that they've ever made and how long they've lasted. So look at the dark red lines. The TD10 came out in 1997. It ended in 2004. In the middle there, they had an expansion board that came out in the year 2000. So it was like the iPhone 6S. You know, it was basically an updated version of the same thing. Now in 2004, the TD20 came out and that lasted till 2012. Right in the middle there in 2008, they came out with another expansion board for that drum module. And then in 2012, they came out with the Roland TD30. In 2017, they came out with the TD50. So as you can see, the TD10 lasted for seven years. The TD20 lasted for eight years, and the TD30, it only lasted for five years. As you can see, that's a downward progression starting with the TD30. Hopefully, the TD50 will last for, you know, three or four years. I don't want Roland to keep doing this whole eight-year release cycle. I feel like that slows everything down. Imagine if Apple only came out with a new iPhone every eight years, and then four years in, they did like a twist on the current one. Imagine if Samsung only came out with a new Galaxy phone every eight years, and they did an upgraded version of the current one four years into that development cycle. Phones would not be where they are today. They wouldn't be nearly as good. There wouldn't be as much tough competition. The drum modules are always behind. They're always like freaking five years old. They're always using really old technology inside of them. This is one of the main problems with the electronic drum industry. A lot of flagship drum modules, they're very, very old. Like, Take a look at the, the Yamaha DTX 900 drum module. That thing is very old. It doesn't sound that great. It looks like it's from the 90s. If you look at the TD50, even though it's, it came out in 2017, earlier this year, it still doesn't have it still doesn't have the features it should. However, if there was a shorter development cycle and these companies had to come out with a new product like every two years, every three years, that would really speed up competition. And I feel like electronic drums would become better and better a lot faster. But unfortunately, we have these very long development cycles. So looking at these timelines, we can guess that the TD60 will come out in the year 2021, 2022, you know, quite a, quite a while away. And if they stick to an eight year development cycle, man, that's like the year 2025. It's a really, really long time away. So keeping all of that in mind that the TD60 is probably not coming out until the year 2021 or something, uh, let's take a look at the other flagship drum modules from Roland, which is the best bang for your buck as far as sound quality, latency, number of inputs and all that stuff. Uh, the TD20 is going for about six to $700 right now on eBay. If we look at the TD30, it's selling for about $1,300 to $1,000 actually. I saw somewhere on a electronic drum Facebook group, a guy was trying to sell his drum module for $1,000. That's insane. That's 50% off the retail price. And then looking at the TD50, it's still selling for a lot of money, $1,850. I don't really think it's worth buying that thing used yet. So as far as best bang for your buck, I feel like the TD30 is in that sweet spot right now. As far as sound quality goes, latency goes, it's got USB MIDI and MIDI in and out. It's got a lot of inputs. It's just a very, very solid drum module. I am biased because I own it, but I bought it when it was a lot more expensive than it is right now. The TD20 is great, but you can't rely off those sounds in a pinch. The, the sounds aren't that amazing right now. They're getting a little bit dated. Um, also, it doesn't have USB MIDI if that's a feature that you wanted. One of the great things about the TD30 is that it actually has a USB audio feature. So you can actually record audio straight to your laptop over that USB cable. That's a feature a lot of drum models don't have. 
the TD50 steps up that feature to multi-track audio recording over USB. And I wish my module had that, but unfortunately I do not. Now for the guys that just want to use Superior Drummer 3 with this, the TD20 might be the most economic option because it's $600 right now on eBay. Um, you could uh, buy a TD30, which will step up the features. It'll step up the number of trigger presets. I don't know if the latency is lower or not, but it's just a more modern drum module. And you have USB MIDI, which is a nice feature. Um, if you want to buy the TD50, some guys actually are doing this. They're buying a TD50 drum module just to use it with drum software. I can't think of a reason why you would buy the TD50 just to use it with Superior Drummer 3. It's literally twice as expensive as a, as a used Roland TD30 if you compare the new TD50 versus the used TD30. So I don't really understand the thinking behind that unless you really want that ride cymbal and that new snare pad. And I do not blame you because those are amazing pads, but it's really, really expensive. If you buy one of those packages, uh, you can get a used TD50 snare and ride cymbal for $2,000. $856 right now. So even now, if you buy that package used, it's still quite a bit of money. That's how you sort of time this out. Uh, a Roland flagship comes out every five to eight years. So it's not coming out anytime soon. The TD60, or who knows, they've abandoned the numbering scheme. So it could be the TD100 for all we know. The TD100 or the TD60, it's not coming out into the year 2021 or maybe even later as far as development cycles go. So as of right now, I feel like the TD30 is in that sweet spot. If you look really hard, you might be able to find it for a thousand bucks. And I feel like it's a decent deal for that money. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in a few.